People sometimes ask me if I'm Ramblin' Jack. And I say, I used to be. It's hard to explain, it's hard to express the cowboy way, but Jack became that guy. And another thing that Jack became is the American minstrel. And he wears the cloak and scepter of, uh, of the American minstrels. I love this country. This is some of the most beautiful country in the entire world. I think I was 15 when Tom Rush first told me about Jack Elliott. And there was a folk place called the Moon Cusser in Vineyard Haven. And I used to go around there and I used to hang out and I wound up with Jack for one afternoon. And we were out in my little gaff rigged cat boat and uh, I just sat there spellbound and we were floating around Martha's Vineyard. And uh, I just thought, who is this guy? This is my people. <laughs> This is who I want to grow up to be like. Well, my first name was Elliot. And I always thought that was a very stupid sounding name. And I especially didn't like the way my mother pronounced it. As it always sounded like I had done something wrong. Elliot. <laughs> to get some other kind of name. Sadie, my little lady, won't you come along and be my bride? That's right. Yeah. Jack's genius in his appearance is shamanistic to me. And if you can think of a guitar and a cowboy hat and a sailor shirt as shamanistic, that was it for me at 15 years old. I, I finally had a role model. And I remember reading in Bob Dylan's book that somebody told him, <laughs> Bob, there already is a Jack Elliott. <laughs> McNeil, McNeil, don't steal my automobile. I'll take you to a cafe and buy you a real fine meal. We go through this house, and we come out on the back terrace, and now finally, I am face to face with Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. And I said, oh, by the way, this isn't my first experience with music. I used to be married to a folk singing guitar player. We traveled all around. Hey, Mac, we're gonna do some riding. Soon we're gonna come to a dividing. You were married to Rambling Jack Elliott? We love Rambling Jack Elliott. And I go, you do? You know it? Now Keith has disappeared into the house. He's found a Ramblin' Jack record, and he's put it on. Here's Jack, now, voice, coming over this loudspeaker. And Keith is wandering out with his guitar, and he's playing along with Ramblin' Jack. Everything is going in the wrong direction. When Jack's out of here, I'm probably going to go back to doing a lot of solo gigs. Right now, Jack's in great shape, so uh, I can pursue my other stuff. But when Jack's out of here, one of the things that I really do have to do is go back and play songs and, and tell stories. Just because somebody has to do that and carry that, uh, and carry that torch.